Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 4.3D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8, which is a new item type called Multiple Select, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a fraction here, and look what we need to do. We need to find two fractions that are less than, okay? So we can easily start with fractions that have the same denominator, but as you can tell, we got a fifth and a fifth, and then we've got three-tenths. So let's figure this one out first. What is this fraction? Remember, each fraction has... Uh, two parts, right? We've got our numerator. And what our numerator does is it tells us how many pieces we're looking at. And then we've got our denominator. And that tells us how many total pieces we have all together. So, numerator, I'm shaded. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight pieces out of nine, ten. All right, so this is eight tenths. So I need to find a fraction that is going to be less than 8 tenths. Well, let's at least deal with, let's deal with these first, right? Look at what 10 tenths is going to be. 10 tenths is going to be greater than 8 tenths, right? Because if I shade in these two tenths right here, well, that's obviously more, and I want less. So it's not going to be that, okay? Uh, let's see what my 7 tenths would be. Well, 7 tenths would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7 tenths is less than 8 tenths, because obviously 7 is less than 8. If your denominator is the same, it's really easy to compare the fractions. So that's one of my answers. That is definitely less. 9 tenths is not going to be less, right? 9 tenths is going to be, there's, I've got my 7. So my 8, and there's my 9. Obviously, 9 tenths is greater than 8 tenths. It's got the same denominator. 9 is bigger than 8. Okay, so it's not 10 tenths. It's not 9 tenths. So I am stuck with looking at 3 fifths or 4 fifths. Now, it makes more sense that the smaller number would work because if 4 fifths is smaller than your 8 tenths, then so would 3 fifths, and that would give me 3 answers. I can only select two answers. It's got to be four-fifths or three-fifths. Makes more sense to be three-fifths. But how do we know for sure? Well, we can do a few different things. So I want to draw a number line here, right? So let's draw tenths. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these little blue lines, and that's going to be one, and that's going to be, I'll just put points. That works. One, Tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to extend that to one more. Okay, and then I've got a line here. And let's make that a connect line, right? So let's do this. So I've got my tenths right here, and where are my eight tenths, right? So I'm going to draw a green line right here. My eight tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so here's my eight tenths. What I want to do is I want to draw a double number line. And I want to do it in fifths. So let's do this right underneath there. Same thing, but I only want to do fifths this time. How am I going to do fifths? Well, I need to break up this up into five different chunks. And what I'm going to notice is that I'm going to have to do it for every two tenths, I'm going to have a fifth. See how I've got five different chunks there? So what is that same green line, right? It's going to be right here, and it's going to be on the one, two, three, four. It's going to be on the fourth fifth, right? So it's going to be four fifths. So eight tenths is the same as four fifths, so if I want to get less than that, I am going to need that three-fifths. So that's my other answer. 